lot. Those sticky stuff. Are you ready? Say hi. Uh, I am ready. Say the truth. Arrows forward. Spring is starting. Boats across the yard are getting ready to launch and everything is gathering momentum. In this video, we'll show you some of what has gone into making the battery racks and mounting the motors. Get ready for lots of cutting, sanding, drilling, and tapping. It's all a blur of hours here and there mixed in okay. with kid projects and everything else. Here, Joshua, you had a couple minutes before work to attach the heat exchangers yeah. with me. Yeah, and then I went back that evening and installed the hardware on the inside. And of course discovered that I needed some extra fittings for the hoses, so I ordered those. I mean, really, the, okay. the details can be pretty amazing. If you take, say, just like one simple task, like install the heat exchangers, well, that actually breaks down into removing the old through holes and making a jig to figure out how to drill them larger and sanding down the hull and going to the store and buying adhesive yeah. and figuring out a time whenever both of us can be out there at the same time to uh, install them. And then that's, that doesn't even include like running the hoses and connecting them up. <laughs> yeah, that's the age old story of vacuuming the living room. First, you have to pick up the Legos, gather the dirty socks, do laundry, return the overdue library books, get groceries while you're at it. <laughs> okay, I guess it's not just for boats. Really don't care for this to leak. Right up underneath the battery pack. Seems like it would be unfortunate. <laughs> I need to cut some thick rubber blocks for going under the engine mounts, and Kelsey had the brilliant idea of using the bandsaw. It seems like it works pretty slick. Watch this. All right, so why are we doing this? What, putting our lives on the internet? <laughs> I was thinking about Linnea, but mm. that's a good question too. I mean, why are we doing all this work? We took a perfectly fine sailboat, ripped it apart, and are installing a somewhat experimental drive system. Hmm, it's a fair point. It, it's always been a dream of mine to have an electric sailboat. I think it's a good idea. Uh, I really, I want to figure this out, and there's just, there's a lot to learn, and I'm really interested to, to share that, too. But you also just like making things. Yeah, I like making things. I like making things with you. I think you like it too. <laughs> yeah, and I want to go sailing. Ultimately, once we get all of this installed and working right, having electric motors will be much less work, less maintenance, It'll be cleaner and quieter and more reliable and more responsive on, on the power. And like just like electric cars, all of the benefits that people are finding with electric cars can be had in the electric sailboat too. But hold on. I think diesels are more accessible for most folks on the water. It's sort of the tried and true way of doing things. There's so many more resources for learning how to take care of them and how to troubleshoot. And you can find parts anywhere. That's just what people are, are used to. The more that people go electric, the more that will become sort of the common thing. And it's just, that's, that's an inevitable thing that's going to happen. And it's going to be great for, for the environment. And it's going to be great for boaters because it's, 
so much easier to to maintain and deal with. They're much fundamentally simpler machines. And sure, there's going to be a learning curve as people, you know, learn about how these new technologies work and how to and how to service them and that sort of thing. Um, but everything is is headed in the right direction. We're gonna make our own fuel. No more rumble and exhaust to make you seasick. Yeah, hooray. <laughs> This part must have been really satisfying after crafting all those pieces. Yeah, I, I love this construction phase. Um, it felt really good. Here I'm drilling and tapping the new holes in the engine bunks to hold the new engine mounts. There's this slab of aluminum buried just under the fiberglass that the bolts go into. It's kind of crazy how much time I spent bent over, hunched down in the bottom of that build.
what is that? The aft battery support? Yeah, so those blocks that um, are kind of shiny there will hold up a cross beam and then all of the battery modules stack in on top of, of that beam. There was a lot of sort of figuring out um, to get to this place. Um, this is kind of just the final assembly step, but there was a huge amount of sitting and pondering and then making something and then making it slightly different that got to this point. We'll give it a little bit of Loctite. This is the time. We have got everything prepared to drop the motor down into its spot. So here goes. Let's see how this is going to fit. Not a lot of clearance to the hull. But there she is on the engine mounts. And a little bit of tweaking and I think this will be be aligned pretty nicely. So we'll just finish hooking up the hoses and then we'll be ready to start with the wiring. Look at that. All right. Hold on. Yep. Hold on. You gotta get this back over to there. Too much fabric. Yeah. That's not the nut that I took off. Stuck like this. 